The sort and sort by functions in Excel give us the options to sort in ascending or descending order. But what if we want to sort by another order? What if we want a custom order? Well, yes, we can do that too. All we need is a bit of Excel trickery, and that's what we're looking at in this video. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here on the left, we have our data. We have an item column, a region column, a size column, and a value column. Then in cell I5, we have used the filter function to filter that data where the size column is equal to the value in G6, which is small. All we want to do is to place these in region order of north, south, east, and west. Initially, we're going to find out how to sort these in ascending or descending order. The first option we have is the sort function. At the start of our formula, I will add sort, opening bracket. The result of filter will be our array. Then we can come to the end, and for the second argument, we can declare the sort index. Region is in the second column, therefore I will enter two. The next argument is sort order. This gives us the ability to sort in ascending or descending order. Now this isn't going to work for a custom sort, but to illustrate how sort works, I'll choose ascending. We don't need the last argument of bicol, so I can close that formula and calculate. That now gives us our data sorted in region in ascending order. So we get east, then north, then south, and then west. So we can say that the sort option doesn't help us in this scenario. Let's go and try sort by, which is an alternative sorting function. I'll press Ctrl Z to undo our sort function. And now let's edit our formula again. To simplify our final result, we are going to use the let function. Let allows us to assign names to calculations, and then we can refer to those names later on in the formula. At the start, I will add let, opening bracket, and then the first name we're going to create is calc, and that will be the result of our filter calculation. Next, we're going to create another name of result. In here, we're going to use the sort by function. The first argument of sort by is the array that we want to sort. In this scenario, we want to sort the result of our filter function, which we allocated to the name of calc. Then we come to our second argument. This is by array one. These are the values that we want to sort by. We want to sort by our region. That is our second column. So we're going to use the choose coles function. The first argument of choose coles is the array. And again, we want to use our calc name. Our next argument is column num one. This is which column number do we want to return? Region is the second column, so we want two. Then we can close our choose coles function. The next argument for sort by is the sort order and we can choose to have ascending or descending order. To illustrate this, I'm going to enter one for ascending order. We can then close our sort by. The last argument of let is the value that we want to return, and we want to return our result. So then we can close that and calculate, and we now get exactly the same result as we had with the sort function. So we get east, then north, then south, and then west. So that's how the two sort functions in Excel work. We have sort and sort by, but that doesn't help us much if we want to sort in the order of north, south, east, and west, because they're not in ascending or descending order. However, by adding X match into the mix, we can achieve it. So let's head back into Excel and make the necessary changes to our sort by so we can sort in a custom order. Let's edit our formula. Before the result calculation, we are going to add a new name of order. And in here, we want to calculate the order that we want to sort by. For this, we're going to use the X match function. X match returns the position of where a value is found in a list. The first argument of X match is lookup value. These are the values that we want to look up. We want to look up our region name. That is in column two. So let's use our choose coles function. And then from our calc result, we want to return column two. The next argument is lookup array. These are the values that we want to look up from and return the position. For this, we want the cells 
G10 to G13. So that means the order will now return one, two, three, or four, depending on where it exists in our sort order range. So now we can edit our sort by calculation. Rather than sorting by the values in column two, we now want to sort by our order calculation. When we make that change and calculate, we now get the values that we want sorted into north, south, east, and west. Now, what happens if we have a new region that doesn't appear in our custom sort order list? Well, this is where things get a little surprising, because did you know that if we have a list of values, which includes the hash NA result, when we sort those values in ascending order, the hash NA value comes after all the numbers. It doesn't create an error, which means if we get a new region of central, everything continues to calculate correctly. And those new regions are placed at the end of our array. And that is it. That is how we can sort by any custom order we like. Now, if you like this video, then why not subscribe and get notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. And then once you've done that, why not watch this video next? Because it's got a lot of awesome Excel techniques. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.